that's a great question. We have lots of different systems of backup systems. We're actually receiving GPS signals because the GPS satellites are higher than us. Uh, we also have sun trackers and star trackers and earth trackers uh, and accelerometers that all keep us in the correct orbit. And of course, we're being tracked by radar on ground as well. Over. Hi, Callum. We have about 250 different experiments uh, during this six-month mission, so we're researching into all sorts of areas in terms of uh, biology and physics and chemistry and medical research. Over. Hi, kids. You know, um, stepping into that Soyuz on the launch pad, I was wondering if I was going to feel any sort of claustrophobia, but absolutely none whatsoever. All of our training prepares us for that, and our simulators prepare us for that. So I've had no feelings of vertigo or claustrophobia up here. Over. Hi 
Yeah, Amelia. Well, because we work out regularly, we get we get an idea of if we're losing strength or if we're gaining strength, and that's really the only gauge we have of uh, of our muscular strength. But of course, um, it's all the small stabilizing muscles in our back and in our legs that we won't really be able to tell uh, how good or bad they are until we get back to earth and then start standing up and walking. Over. Hi Callum, great question. Um, we have a big pump that pumps air out of the airlock and into the rest of the space station when we de depressurize the airlock and takes it almost to vacuum. And then we do lose a little bit of air just for the last portion going to vacuum. And then when we repressurize the airlock, we take the extra air that we pumped into the space station and use that to repressurize the airlock. So we can do spacewalks without losing much air. Over. Well, you know, a lot of the science that we're doing up here right now will take years for it to be fully analyzed.